What's up everyone, welcome to the show. So today we got a video request from somebody that wants to go to the Middle East. They must have seen my last video in Pakistan. Pakistan, just for the record, is not in the Middle East. It's in Asia, but it's a Muslim country, so understandable. And yes, I have been to almost every single Muslim country in the world. And I, um, this is really good uh, video request. If you want to write a video request, you can do it in the, uh, the description below. And you can write more than like a paragraph. If you're going to write like a paragraph or less, I'm just going to sum up what you, what you sent me. And if you want to write something longer, I can read it word for word. So anyways, this person, he's American. He's in his thirties. Uh, he wants to go to Egypt, Egypt. And of course, if you were not going to Egypt right now, if you were going to a different Muslim country, like, I don't know, Iraq, Pakistan, for some reason, if you went to Yemen or something like that, like it'd be a really bad time right now to go to the Middle East with the Palestine and Israel war. Um, there's like a couple Egypt. This Egypt is the one he wants to go to. So Egypt has always been like very safe. It's I've never ran into any problems in Egypt. But then again, you know, I went to went to Baghdad, Iraq all by myself and didn't even run in, into any problems. So Egypt has I've always had a good experience in Egypt. I've been to Egypt twice. You're not going to run into any like problems at all there. You will run into annoying people sometimes that will try to sell you shit. I would say the country that has the most people trying to sell you unnecessary shit is Egypt. That's the biggest problem you can run into there. But as far as like safety and everything goes, there you literally have nothing to worry about. This is a really good country to have your first like second or third world experience into. This is the first one that I went to. Egypt was the first one I went to out of Europe when I left Europe and like I fucking fell in love with that country, Egypt, dude. And I was like, when I saw, you know, I wanted to go there and see the pyramids. Who wouldn't want to see that? But like, dude, if you go there, if you go to Cairo, go to the like, I think it's called the, um, it's a bazaar in old, in, um, in Islamic Cairo. And like, dude, like, dude, the first time I went to that shit, I was like, I want to see more of this, man. And that's when I started going to like all the other Muslim countries and India and all that, like, it, it, it'll be one hell of an experience, man, <laughs> especially if you're American and you, your first experience being in a, like a country that's a second or third world country, dude, I highly recommend going. You don't need a guide. I always meet people. I've met Americans in the past that have gone to Egypt and like hired a guide and all this stuff. Just like, even if you're a woman, you have nothing to worry about there, man. It's like, so I will say if, so if this is the absolute first time you've been to a country like this and you go directly to Cairo, it will be a pretty intense experience for the first like 24 hours until your brain like adjusts to being in this environment. Your the, the environment of America and Europe and so many other places is just a complete, a complete 360 from what this is going to be like. And your, uh, your brain will not be prepared for it it's just something you can't imagine until you're in it. And there's, you're going to feel like you're in danger. You're going to be like, holy crap, this is insane. But there's nothing to worry about, man. There's no, there's like, how do I explain? There's so many countries on the U S gov, like what uh registry that say that they're dangerous. They're level four. Don't go here. Terrorist activity. They put Egypt at a level four to the highest makes no sense at all, man. It doesn't make sense for Egypt to be level four. They put almost every country at level four on the us.gov. So one big recommendation outside of the bazaar in Cairo that I would recommend before we get any further is I absolutely recommend visiting this place. It's in Cairo. It's called Garbage City. Go on Google when you're in Cairo or just ask people about it. They'll probably give you a crazy backstory on what this place is. I don't want to get into what it is, but to make it simple, it's a part of Cairo that they call it garbage city. And it is just stacked with garbage everywhere. And I know a lot of like people even, how do you not want to go check out something like that? It's, I guess people are just different. But when I heard about this, I was like, what? Like, it's literally a part of the city that is just like, it's like a slum of Cairo. It's completely safe. There's no danger at all in it. And it's like, 
completely stacked with garbage and just a bunch of crazy stuff, man. I have a full video of me there. I'll share it one day. And um, But do not take any videos at this place. Don't take pictures of anyone. They'll get very upset, understandably. They really don't like people filming this, but you should go experience Garbage City when you're in Cairo. It's probably the most memorable thing I ever did in Egypt. So with that being said, continuing talking about safety protocols and everything, just be careful talking about being from America too much, even though there's consistently Americans in Cairo. There's a war with Palestine and Israel. Right now, everybody's blaming a lot of it on the U.S. Egypt is probably in the top, like, one, if not two uh, Muslim countries to be in right now that's safe still for Americans. But you might want to go before shit escalates further in the region, too. You know, I'm not going to get into that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but a big reason I'm going back, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the video, I'm trying to go back to Saudi Arabia in about, in like six or seven weeks from now. And I'm really trying to get over there for a few days one more time before shit escalates more. I'm Last year with the Saudi Arabia, and I was, I was already paranoid last year that they were going to take the American visas, man, because of the shit going on, not just between Palestine and Israel, but like the dumbass that we have in office right now and threatening Saudi Arabia and like all this other shit. Like literally there could come a day where we aren't allowed to go to these Muslim countries anymore in the Middle East. And like, I know normie society or just people that think like mainstream, I guess, just, why the fuck would you want to go over there? It would change your fucking life, man, if you went to some of these countries. It's 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 made me like there is like something about these Muslim countries that have made me found find like appreciation for life again. Like the first one I ever went to, like I said, was Egypt. And that experience within itself like brought I felt like so at home there and I felt so welcome there. And it was just it was something that had just been missing from life for such a long time. And it and I like went through intervals of like doing the really basic Muslim countries first, like Egypt and Turkey. And then I moved to, to Lebanon and Jordan and all that in Saudi. And then I went to like the dangerous ones, you know, Afghanistan, Pakistan is really not that dangerous, uh, Iraq and all this. And I remember thinking back just like, wow, you know, of course, like, so especially Iraq is a crazy ass country with a crazy history. I didn't run into a single problem when I was there, man. Isn't that insane? But of course, that was after ISIS moved into Syria and everything. Definitely was very dangerous there in like 2017. But anyways, talking about Egypt. To save money, don't get a guide. You don't need a guide. Travel at hostels. They have a lot of hostels in Egypt. You can pay like five, six, seven dollars a night. You could stay for a long time. I think they give you 30 day visas. So you get a whole 30 days if you have if you quit your job or something, you go travel. You can get a whole 30 days to see the whole country. Uh, you should use trains to get around. They have trains that go in between every main city there. You never rent a car out of the country. That is so retarded. Like some people, I guess in some places you can do that. But Egypt, I don't know if that's something you would possibly even be looking at. You don't have to do stuff like that. This isn't traveling in America. You can do it the cheap way. You can get away with being in Egypt for 30 days and spending less than like a thousand dollars, man. It's, it's, if you do it right, it's very cheap. Stay at hostels, take trains, take buses. They have a bus there called go, go stop bus. If you don't want to take the train, you can take buses in between every main city there. So anyways, bringing it back to like ground zero, just, you were mainly just asking about safety there. I just can't emphasize enough is totally safe, man. Some other recommendations I would throw out there to you before I go on a mini rant about this is do not act like a snob. Don't hold your head like in the air, like a asshole when you go through these places. People are aware. A lot of, there are a lot of rich people that take like Nile cruises and everything and act like total snobs there and act like they're better than the people living there. Don't do that, man. And learning a little bit of Arabic, specifically Egyptian Arabic, or even some of the Quran goes a long way with these people. If they hear you recite like al Fatiha or something, they will be like, I had a guy in Egypt one time. I, I recited al Fatiha like to him and he almost wrecked the freaking car. He was like, oh, I've never heard an American say that. Like, and it's, it's something you can memorize in like 15 minutes, man. You know, so, um, learning stuff like that goes a long way with the people and uh people just really appreciate that man so 
I just, I, I'm trying to sit here and think of anything that could be dangerous, man. It's just not, it's not as crazy as they say it is, man. It's, it's not as dangerous as they say it is, man. It's awesome. And I just want to kind of go off on a little rant because I think I've answered all your questions about this. I, dude, I don't know where I would be mentally without visiting these places these days. These places have brought a meaning back to life in my life. I remember before I ever left the USA back in the day, I was like so void of life. I didn't know what living was. I didn't have... There was just something missing, man. And when I started visiting these places, I found like a meaning for life again. I found a reason to live again. It's it's like these places, uh, it, not just the Middle East, but these places in Africa have been, even Europe, uh, places in South America a little bit, a little bit in Asia, but mainly Africa and Middle East just absolutely love this area of the world. Very, very interesting experiences. And it's brought more meaning to, I just can't emphasize it enough, man. It's brought meaning back to my life. I don't know where I would be if I had never left this fucking country that we live in, man. I'm not saying like, yeah, fuck the United States or anything. We do have it really good here compared to other places. We got a lot of stuff that's missing though that you'll find that other places have. When you leave the USA and you go see what the other side of the world is like, it'll change you, man. It'll change who you are. It'll change your mindset. For me, it's brought me like an internal kind of, it's filled a void that's always been there, man. And when I came back the first time, I was like, wow, oh, fuck this place. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I know like everybody's different, man, but this has been my experience. These, these places changed me, man. And I always recommend everybody should go check out a place like this. Highly recommend it. Happy to hear that you're going there. So I hope you, I answered your question. I dug as far as I can, as far as I could into the dangerous parts of visiting specifically Egypt. Now, if you'd pointed out some other like places around this area, I might have more suggestions, but I just, there's, you don't need to spend extra money to hire any guides and you can get a guide to like take you to all three pyramid sites or something. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but as far as having somebody with you the whole time, because it's mud dangerous, it's just, dude, there's, there's literally like little 18 year old, uh, girls, white girls running around Cairo and stuff like it's not dangerous, man. I can see why you think it is if you've never been somewhere like this. So anyways, hope I answered your question. You can send your video requests or anything like that to the email below. Earth said JD, thank you for watching.